Hello everybody, my name is Miss Liesel and I work at the Brambleton Library. Thank you for joining me for our craft demonstration video today. I'm going to be showing you how to make something really cool out of things that you probably actually have in your house. So double check with your grown-ups, make sure that you have these things so that you can learn how to make a tissue paper sun catcher. So you don't need much for this craft. All the things that you need, I have laid right out here in front of the camera. The things that you'll need to complete this sun catcher tissue paper craft is wax paper, tissue paper, a pair of scissors, a paintbrush, and a small cup, because inside the small cup goes the thing that's going to bind all of these items together. And that item is liquid starch. You can find this at most grocery stores, actually probably all grocery stores, and it's gonna be in the laundry section. So if you don't have this, it's super easy to find. So let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is trace a shape onto your, onto your wax paper. If you don't want to trace a shape and you just wanna make a square like I've done here for my example, you can do that. Otherwise, if you would like to make your sun catcher into a particular shape, this is the time when you would trace that shape. So for example, I have made a heart. So I'm gonna make my tissue paper sun catcher into the shape of a heart. The next thing you'll want to do is pour your liquid starch into your small cup. This is because we don't need a whole lot of liquid starch. So we're just going to pour it in there like that. Yep, that seems about right. So now you have a little dipping area for your liquid starch, for your paintbrush, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your paintbrush to paint the liquid starch all along the wax paper like this. You'll do this a couple times throughout our uh, demonstration. So you can use as much or as little as you like. Don't worry about going outside of your shape if you've made a shape because uh, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna trim away all of the excess. So if you go over or something, don't worry about it. All right. Once your liquid starch is on your wax paper, you're gonna take your tissue paper. And you don't need to have a pattern or a special uh, design that you want. You can just kind of put the, the tissue paper wherever you want. And do you see how it's sticking? It's sticking to the wax paper because the liquid starch acts as a bonding agent. So we're gonna just keep putting on some more things. When you're all finished, you should have something that looks a little like that. Like I said, don't worry if your tissue paper or your wax or your liquid starch went over the lines of the shape that you traced, because once this dries, we're gonna cut it all out. So you're gonna have to wait a little while for it to dry. But for you, it'll take no seconds at all. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes since I left this to dry. As you can see, it's not quite dry yet, but we're gonna go ahead and trim it out anyway. So you can take your scissors, and usually what I like to do when I am cutting is I like to just cut it kind of as close as I can to the actual shape before I actually try uh, to cut the shape out itself. So just kind of cut around it at first uh, so that when you actually start uh, to trim the shape, it just makes your job a little bit easier. Um, <laughs> also, you'll notice that I am a, an adult and I'm using kid scissors, uh, but that's okay uh, because you'll probably be using kid scissors also. <laughs> Uh, so if your parents say it's okay, or if your grown-up says it's okay, uh, you can use um, bigger scissors. Uh, but uh, I would recommend just starting out with uh, just the other, 
the other kind of scissors, the, the, the kid's scissors here. So I'll keep using those um, just so that uh, we have the actual kind of scissors that you'll be using. And there you have it, one sun catcher in the shape of a heart. Now, once it's dried fully, you can hang it up in a window uh, so that you have a nice little pretty thing where you can hang it up on your fridge or uh, somewhere else uh, in, your, uh, in your school from home workspace maybe, just to give yourself a little bit of a brighter touch <laughs> to wherever it is that you're doing your schoolwork these days. So when your sun catcher is totally dry, it's not gonna be all flimsy like this. It's gonna be more sturdy like this one, this square one that I made before we started. Uh, but there you have it. Now you know how to make a sun catcher out of tissue paper, wax paper, and liquid starch. Keep tuning in to our uh, online craft demonstrations by logging on to the website library.loudon.gov for more fun crafts like this. I will see you again, or rather, you will see me again very soon. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye.